Morning, y'all. This is Reckless Raven, and welcome back to our adventures here in the Fire of the Phoenix. Where last time we were um, continuing our stretch of trying to get rid of this last bit of grass and dealing with this pesky rogue male that has disappeared again, as far as I know. Um, and oh wait, is that was that him? Yeah, there he is. Way the world over there. So dealing with him trying to be a pest, and uh, we had a Barina decide to spawn on us over here. So this is going to be fun. I think we can get Cookie over in a one or two parts of energy on him. Um, Cookie would be our best bet to get rid of this guy really quickly. So in between, as y'all can see, based on their... Uh, gem colors. I went ahead and went through all of their genes and such and said this one belongs to this side, this one belongs to this side. Um, so the orange is meant to represent the phoenixes and the pink is represented, is supposed to represent the um, uh, doing side, I guess. The doers, the, the um, workers, I guess, um, that are going to continue to have some ability to, uh, catch bunnies and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> so that's what the pink is. We do have, like, three creatures who are kind of in a gray area where they, their parents were technically on the phoenix side, but they, their bodies start to, their phenotype and stuff started to lean more towards one direction or another. Such as, um, Icarus over here. Icarus was child of Jangle and Hestia. Hestia was most definitely one of our, um, phoenixes. So, he does have a bit of both, which is fine, just... When we get there, we'll have to decide which direction we're putting him towards. Um, most likely going to go towards the the person outside, but um, it's still there. It's still something we can work with. So, other than that... Oh, and uh, the Alpha, Beta, and Omegas. So the ones that ended up getting Alpha have at least four genes. That's what I just stuck to. So the mega horns, the bird beak, the body, and the tail are the ones that got the four. So, so far. Um, everyone else, if they had three, they were considered a, a beta, and if they had two or less, they are an omega. Um, I know it was different for the last generation, pretty sure, but that's that's gonna be a changing thing as time goes on. So, um, other than that, I decided uh, one set of mates, or two mate, mated pairs for now, and I looked at the time and said, oh no, I need to start um, today's episode. Uh, so we have a few that I haven't set up yet, such as Bear and Panthera. And I think, I think there's others that are older that need to be set up. We'll have to see. I know it's not Stork or Eevee's. Yeah, we'll have to see, um, uh, out of our oldest who needs it. Um, Belmont and Cookie are our very oldest, so I was like, yeah, they need to be set with mates very soon, so. And Hale. Hale got set up as well. So, anyway, let's go ahead and jump in here and get started. Um, Belmont is our, one of our big ones that we were like, oh, we need to get you set up with a mate. So, um, since he only has six days left. All of the Phoenix side females 
besides one share immunity genes with him. So he's gonna have to be with Blaze. Um, I didn't even set up their mutation menus. Darn it. He's gonna get a heat body and uh, Blaze has almost everything. She needs wing. Yeah, wing, and I could start playing with the horn color on her. So, let's see. Definitely needs... Where is it? Right there. <laughs> I was starting to think I was going crazy. Okay, uh, yeah, we definitely need the red horns. Mega horns, bird beak, heat body, wing and nimble fingers, peacock tail. So yeah, I think the only thing left on her is that. And keeping this down. So wing and let's get someone started on red horns. He needs. Let's see. Heat body, and we're gonna do the mega horns. So let's see. Heat body, heat body, and megaloceros horns. Okay. I'm gonna have him land over here by her. Her turn to meet with him. Yes, we can. Um, we'll wait for her to set up a nest. So we'll let him come back and stay on his tree. I saw movement. Okay, it's just the bunnies. Good. Alright. <coughs> Our other pairing over here is going to be Cookie with uh, Hale. And Cookie got set because when I was doing Belmont's uh, meeting, I noticed which ones had what genes and I was what immunity genes, and I said, oh shoot, he's got what everyone else has. So he's he's a <laughs> he's he's got some things going on. I might have him dabble a little bit into the. Um, doer's side, just because his strength is absolutely amazing and we might see about having that go into that side of the tribe as well. So let's go ahead and have him come over here. He can do a decent amount of damage. So can Rex, actually. So he's got five days left. Alright, that's one day left. Uh, Scorpio, come do the honors. Rex has the deformed paw. Yes, he does. Okay. Let's pull him this way. Hale over here. So, let's see. Cookie. Um... For him, we're going to do the wing, I think. So let's see, the wing. Our main priority needs to be the phoenixes, so technically I should do the tail. He's got red horns though, he's got red and black. I'm going to do red horns for him. I know there's other things in there we need to work on, but if we can get them started towards the pure red horns, that would be nice. And then Hale, she needs a lot. Um, we're going to start with the wings. 
Wings and peacock tail. I think would be a good idea for her. So wing. Peacock tail. There we go. So she can mate with him and gather up the berries. There we go. Flame is with Rex, so... Ooh, you think I'm not paying attention? Jerk. I haven't been paying as much attention. I need to get Panthera, because she's the same age as Cookie, and Bear, because she's a couple of days younger. Who else was in that original party? Let's see, it was Cookie, Hale, Panthera, Bear, Icarus. Ooh, Icarus. He's one of our youngest as well. J I I N J Home and B. He could be with Bear. He could be with Bear. We could do that. We're gonna have one baby born over here. We can wait a day. I think. Pretty sure we can wait a day. You think he's not going to smack you. He will end your life. You understand this? One hit. Go away. You're annoying. Okay, we got rid of both of our problems. That's it. That, that, that feels nice. <laughs> that feels really nice, actually. Um... The, they can't land on that side? They can't land in the grass. That's weird. It's very weird. Okay. Uh, Icarus. Grab that. Oh my gosh. I do not want her going deeper in there with it to have a baby because we need to get them started to head towards the direction we're headed. So that's not a good idea. Okay. That is in the green, but I need someone with a bird beak to get it. So let's see. She has two days left. Right. We're gonna have them have a baby. Have one baby. So let's see. Right? Home and B, I and J. Okay, so. Let's see. Her snout for both. Or at least. No, not person out for him. She's gonna get person out. Most definitely. She's gonna get person out. There it is. And then. The fishing tail was very helpful. But so is the scorpion tail. And so is the hammer tail. And depends on what kind of island we go to. And what resources we have there. I'd like to keep the hammer tail. That's just a favorite. So she's gonna get hammer tail and purse note. Because I do like these on her. Actually, I should have done mega horns too, but he's got them active. Um, we're not gonna mess with his tail or snout. His fertility is fine. Is how's her fertility? 
Our fertility's fine. Okay. Um, he's got mega horns. Let's do the ears. Normal ears. And then, let's see. Wing and nimble fingers. I guess this is a point where I have to decide if I want him to go towards their side or towards the other side. I kind of want to lean him more towards their side. Okay, let's do the wing then. Um, we'll give him a claw. Might as well. Use his turn to mate with her. Yeah. Set her nest here. Her. And then she can set up a nest there. They can be side by side. Okay. That does mean I need to set up Panthera with a male. Just look at that. A nest set up all nice and cozy right beside the port. Alright, let's get AVs over here. Do you have enough strength? Yes. I think Duke Don. Yeah, Duke Don is very close to the end of his lifespan. Panthera. Okay. And then, uh, Seer, I need to get you to catch up with your twin. Oh, okay. Let's do that. Didn't even pick up the meat, just like set the meat aside and grabbed the um, root that was underneath it. Yeah. That's us. Definitely us. Alright. Um, Harmonia is sticking to uh, Nike like glue. It seems like. Cadenza was supposed to be part of my Acorns team, but it things changed for some reason. Oh, there's a root over there. Would you look at that? I don't know where to send him. I should have sent him this way to begin with. Okay. That is everyone's turns. So we're going to have three babies. Three babies. We had babies in a while. And everything looks good. So let's go on ahead and go to the next day. And we're going to end things here with naming babies, I think. Alright, I see three bird beaks. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We did not get the double wings. And we did not get the peacock tail. I'm thinking their second baby would have more luck. Um, he got the yellow eyes, though. Uh, they're both of the Mirage family line. So that's something. And he got beige fur. He's our little pale, pale prince. He would be a beta though. He didn't get doubled up wings. Alright. Um, I don't even have my names out.
trying to think what I want to use. I like this one. I am pretty sure this is an old, old uh, naming suggestion. Who's back? This is a naming suggestion from um, Troy Shipley. Uh, I'm I'm pretty sure we've had this one for a while. I don't remember how long though, unfortunately, but. We, we do have that as a naming suggestion. I, could, I can't think of anything specific for him. Like, I could do something towards Cookie, but I don't... I can't think of anything. I just can't. I don't know why. Anyway. Welcome to the tribe, little one. He is adorable. Um, we did get the red horns in there, so that's good. Um, he's got a claw, so you can't go wrong with the claw. Um, he's got a decent amount of strength. So, it's not the end of the world. Definitely not, not anywhere near the end of the world, but still. He's cute. Almost as cute as his father. Okay. Welcome to the tribe, little one. And then, we have two more babies. Gotta come on this side. So, despite everything, we did get a little bird beak over here, and then... This is Blaze and Belmont's baby. I mean... We're getting close with this one. He is very, very, very close. Um, the big ears, I still want to get rid of on the bird beaks. So, because it just, it looks weird to me. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, he's, he's very close. Very, very, very close. Um, wow. So let's see, Belmont and Blaze. Here we go. Burning. What's your dad's name? Dragon. There he is. This is gonna be Burning, Burning Dragon. We're gonna say his full name for him because that is too hilarious. He's a, he's Burning Dragon, it's fine. Um, burning is a naming suggestion from Jasmine Oswald. Um, thank you so much for the naming suggestions you gave. They, they were um, more towards uh, other ways to think of fire and they, they helped out a lot, so. Welcome to the tribe, little one. Burning Dragon. Yeah, we're gonna be saying his last name with that one, just because it, it feels funny just to say burning a little bit, but that worked out perfectly. That that worked out really perfectly. And he's very, very close. He's got one, two. He, technically, he's a beta, because he's only got three full, but that is very close. All right, and then our baby we were hoping would be purse now, which it's okay, they both had bird beak in their recessives. Ooh boy. He is stronger than Cookie and has a really good fishing ability. So he is definitely on the that side, the gatherer side of everything. He just got the bird beak instead of the purse now, which is actually helpful in some of the gathering stuff anyway. You can collect a little bit because of that bird beak. You can do a little bit of digging. So. 
Yeah, not the end of the world. It's just his smelling will be bad. Which if I set him up on a river or something and let him do some fishing, he doesn't need a sense of smell. Wow. He'll be able to keep up with Bear and Icarus and keep up with their uh, ancestors want for the clown koi. So, wow. Definitely on that side of the tribe. So let's see. We had males. We have a lot of males this time around. Requiem? I believe that's how that's pronounced. Um, do please correct me if I'm wrong in pronunciation. This is a naming suggestion from Logan Gilligan. So, um, I know it went with Lilith. So, it, it's close. I just, I can't think of a name for him and... I think that fits. I do think that fits. So, welcome to the tribe, little one. Um, as far as I can tell, that's pronounced Requiem, so do please uh, correct me in the comment section down below. Um, I would like to be corre corrected if I'm saying it wrong. I don't want to mispronounce a name. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna start going this way, because this will be a little bit easier. Maybe. Maybe. Hang on. Oh, there's no one. There's no one. Okay. There. There. Okay. Cool. Um, we are almost done with the grasses, so we're going to continue to work on the BBs and start moving towards the port that we are supposed to be headed towards. Um, we are going to go and use this port. It's just, it's the one I've been leaning towards, and suggestions point towards this one. So we're going to go this way. It is an easier island, but they aren't worried about strength and difficulty. They're worried about spreading their fire across the land. So we, uh, we need to work on that. Anyway, thank you all so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like. Leave any naming suggestions you have in the comment section down below. And do please subscribe. And I will see you all in the next one. Thank you all. Bye-bye.